it's Fashion Week in New York. And over the last week, we've looked at hundreds of collections from designers who are showing us what we should be wearing for spring 2013. I can sum it up in two words, prison break. We've seen stripes, black and white, blue and white, red and white, red and blue, green and blue, on almost every collection this season. It's been incredibly graphic and a complete surprise when you're seeing the same look coming out of designers like Marc Jacobs, Michael Kors, Tommy Hilfiger, Joseph Altazara, the young guard, the old guard, everybody's doing it. I feel like there's a, it's a real black and white graphic kind of 1960s. Edie Sedgwick bondage kind of a moment. The black and white in the graphic suddenly feels so new and fresh, even though in a way it is very retro and, and very vintage inspired. Because after all, all the print of last season, after the decorate, uh, decorate sumptuous opulence, is a good reaction. You want to go in a clean, but a really shape, really chic. Apart from the stripes, there was a strong feeling of a sexual undercurrent showing up in some collections. A lot of people were talking about what happened at Marc Jacobs, where you saw skirts worn lower on the hips, some visible hip bones, uh, a little bit of midriff bare there, which is unusual for Marc Jacobs, who loves girls covered up. I was really surprised to see Jason Wu talking about Helmut Newton this season. That's obviously the photographer who made S&M part of his visual language. And when Mr. Wu showed his collection, we saw a lot of leather harnesses worked into his sheer lacy dresses. We bought Jason Wu, and the, he was one of our favorite shows this week. That's it was true. just truly phenomenal, and there was a lot of lace and sex, and it was really beautiful, but chic, and it was sexy and chic. You it can't always get this together. It was sexy without being vulgar. Yeah. <laughs> I think fashion is much faster now, but I think, you know, there's certain things that are still very old-fashioned, like how a jacket is made and how a dress is beaded. So I think it's really important for my generation to sort of make great clothes. I mean, I think at the end of the day, that's what it boils down to. Yeah. This collection, our, our first idea was the idea of collage and the idea of randomness. We, we really wanted to explore the idea of leather too. I mean, leather yeah. is a material that we're really attracted to, but it's always kind of felt like a fall fabric to us in a way. So we've, we've asked ourselves, how can we do this and make it feel light? I love the Proenza show. I thought that was really beautiful. The grommets look so cool on everything. I mean, I can't believe they managed to make those look so fresh. And all that perforated leather, there was so much texture. So it's been a good week. If you've been following fashion for a while, you'll know it's been quite some time since designers agreed about anything. To see a single trend coming out of the spring collection so strongly is very unusual. And I think one of the big reasons for that is, is obviously designers are still reacting to a tough economy. They're really trying to come up with a clear statement about why you should be back in the stores buying new clothes.